wanted to do now is the screen on this Toshiba satellite. I forgot that I left something across the room. Um, this is a brand new panel that's in this computer. And uh, it's still, after a brand new panel, has no backlight. So what I'm going to do is I have this one. And I'm going to pull the inverter out of that this one. So I'm going to carefully put this over here. And yeah, I took the bezel off because I wanted to make sure this was something I could do on camera so I didn't make a bigger fool of myself than I already will. So, on this, there's four screws in the corners. This is a 2008 model. I want to say... September of 2008. This one is a uh, June of 2008. And I couldn't get it to really, I mean, it would power on, but I couldn't get anything on the screen. So <laughs> let's hope this one works. <laughs> this one has a webcam, though. I thought about taking the whole thing, but. With a webcam that makes it a little more difficult. Alright, let's see if I can remember how I got this to split the last time. Let's always start in an inconspicuous area. I was actually a little more violent with the other one. This side, get it to come up. Let me get this at a better angle for me. There's no way to do this that isn't scary as you're doing it, I don't think. I was going to lose the, uh, the, the latch <laughs> at one point. Alright. So, with this, I'm going to pull the inverter board out. Now, The screw hole is going to be a little more to the left than I'm looking at it because I want to make sure I get it. Okay, we'll only plug in one way. That's good. So let's sit this one down. <laughs> sit on the side. Sit on the lid. I'm not going to, I don't know if I, no, it's not grounded, it's not grounded to the chassis because that just goes into plastic. Alright, so that's in. Now I have less than I did before. Wait, did I just... Oh wait, this is... This actually has windows on it. Let's see. Last time I had to have a light focused right on it. I'm going to try 
I don't know what I'm going to try now. Alright. That's not to say that this inverter board isn't bad either. <sighs> the question is... Try some because you know, I actually had flicker with this that I didn't have before, even though that's not grounded to anything. I'll try. can tell that this is an aftermarket paddle. Okay, it's flashing at me about the battery. Alright, so I'm going to try See light? Did, did I see light? No. Good. Let that thing come up real quick. I have a theory. I don't like the theory. I keep seeing... I keep seeing flickering. Yeah. Yeah, do you see that? Um, actually, I just did that wrong. I don't know if the screen's going to catch it. Oh yeah, the camera's definitely catching it, catching it better than I am. We might have a bad screen. Give me one minute. I don't know, it's doing some weird stuff. Give me a minute. Well, I started pulling the screen out of it because... Um, Whoever did the replacement really messed up and uh, stripped out one of these screws, but so I want to show you if I can. I'm hoping for like I've got it plugged into the monitor behind it, which you can see. You can see an image on the screen, and I can't. Figure out why it's not it's just not all oh, it still is coming through blurry. I don't know if yeah, that's definitely the reflection of the uh, camera. So 
this is a failure, and uh, I'm going to shut it down so my monitor doesn't yell at me for unplugging the VGA since it's hooked in DVI to... to my... to the computer. It's here. But, uh... Oh, crap. It's going to want to do updates. In that case, it's getting crashed. So I'm going to put the other one back together and see what happens there. And, uh... See if I can't get that one to work. So for right now, not sure what I'm going to do, so I'm going to call this a failure and say uh, thank you for watching, have a blessed day, and uh, yeah.